Hi everyone, it's Cars Guy Do It Yourself. Today I'm going to show you how to solve a problem with rough engine running and misfire on one of the cylinders in this 1.6 Hyundai and Kia petrol engine. Very cheap and easy way. And you can do it with simple hand tools. Really, so stay with us. Eighty percent of car failures are very easy things to repair by your own. Proper diagnosis and our perceptiveness are key to save a ton of money and our time. In this particular case, when we start the engine, it's running rough, it's shaking, and it's lack of power. Also, engine light is blinking. From my experience, I can say that it looks like there is misfire on one of the cylinder. We will check the basic things. And, as you see later, sometimes even without OBD scanner we can find the faulty part. Alright, before we start doing anything here, we must realize what is the basic things that the engine needs to run. First is mixture of fuel and air. Second is ignition spark. Third is proper compression on each cylinder. And the last thing is right timing. Always start from the easiest things to check. We won't start from checking timing belt because it will take a lot of time and finally time that we spend on it can be just wasted. Let's start from something that is easy to reach and it has lowest tool requirement. As we can see everything is hidden under that plastic cover, so let's remove it. Unscrew 4 bolts. So, here at the top there are ignition links and it's really easy to take them out. We will check their condition first. Now we can have a look on the wires. We are looking for any white marks from burnout or mechanical damages. But everything for the first shot looks fine. We count cylinders in this engine from the left side. First, second, third and fourth cylinder. To help yourself, if you are not sure which wire goes where, we can mark them, starting from ignition coil side, like so. Also, ignition coils have cylinder numbers over here. We will take out ignition lead, which is connected to the first socket in ignition coil. Take out ignition lead and have a look on it. We have strange crack on it, like the spark burned the housing. Let's compare it with other ignition lead. This one looks nice, does not have such a crack. That one as well. And the last one, same thing. So it might be just the ignition lead on second cylinder. To prove it, I will tape it. To isolate ignition lead from engine body to prevent spark jumping. Okay, let's do it. Okay, let's start the engine. Wow, first shot and first go. Smooth run, I don't feel any misfire anymore. So as you can see, it takes less than 10 minutes to locate the issue. Sometimes the problem is more complex and we have to check other things like spark plugs, ignition coils, decompression test, check injectors or even check the timing. In other videos, how to series, you will find complete guideline how to diagnose other ignition parts, which I mentioned, without OBD scan. You will find their cool trick and tips and you will learn how you can do it by your own. Let's get back to our today's job. Just to prove it, we will plug in the OBD scanner to confirm our suspicions. Turn ignition on and read fault codes.
And we have two codes, P0300, which is random cylinder misfire detected, and second code is P0302, which is cylinder 2 misfire detected. So everything is confirmed. I know from the owner that spark plugs not been changed since 3 years, so we will do it right now. That's new spark plugs, and that's our new ignition leads. We will replace them one by one, starting from first cylinder, remove ignition lead, then unscrew spark plug with 16mm socket. Take it out and replace them with new one. Carefully insert new spark plug inside cylinder head socket. First tighten it by hand to the end and make sure you not cross the threading. Then torque it down with 25Nm torque. Alright, choose the longest lead and plug in it on place. Now we will do same thing with second spark plug and ignition lead. Remove old and install new. Then repeat those steps for the rest. Beautiful! New spark plugs and new ignition leads are installed. Now we can do quick test if it's running fine. And it is! It sounds like straight 4-cylinder engine. Now we can clear all faults from the ECU. After that, you can put the cover back on place. And it's done! If you like it, thumbs up and subscribe! Job done! Thanks for watching!